It definitely feel a little bit of a kick in the knees. I don't know if it's because of the, I'm in the sun, but I'm still, you know, you still feel good. Still feel good. I'm still warm. Just getting warmer now. Yeah. Well, it's been like half an hour now. Mm -hmm. Twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. So. I think we're in for a good because I like double dose this. This is some serious oil. Good morning, Ultra Lordians. All of the fans out there, what's up? This is your boys, Ultra Lord. Um, this morning, I think we've got a bit of an interesting segment. Um, something we haven't done before, something totally new, totally fresh. Um, we've made some can of butter, totally personal use, obviously. And uh, yeah, today we guinea pigs for the sake of cannabis. Yeah. For the sake of science. Yeah. We've uh, we've just had our first dose. If I'm not mistaken, it's two milli two point five two point five milligrams that we did take this morning. Yeah, yeah I took I took ten of the like uh, what you call an edible. I was in uh, Kimberley this weekend, and uh, it's been pretty dope. This is actually this is this is, this is insane. Look at this. This is the butter. <laughs> this is the stuff. This is it. <laughs> And this is all made with high grade, so it's um, yeah, it's pretty wicked. It's got a dope <laughs> smell to it. Tell me, what are what are the, the side effects that one should expect from eating edibles? Because this is, this is like I never taken the butter form because I took the, the jelly shots, the jelly shots, whatever that is. And uh, so, what, what what am I expecting? Well, first of all, for you guys out there that is newbies or whatever, um, like me, edibles does take a bit longer to kick in. So um, I wouldn't suggest like saying okay I don't feel anything and eating more because it does take about an hour to kick in fully until you really feel the experience. So tell me then how how, how does one actually make this? Are we allowed to give out the, the secret recipe? Or? Well, it's quite simple. This is the best one that I've oh. found. Um, this is pretty much what you do is you put it on a double boiler. Yeah, and uh, what I did is I uh, cut 30 grams of high grade weed, um, took out all the seeds, uh, baked it for a little bit, which pretty much turns the THC from THCA to normal THC, excuse me. And uh, yeah, then all you do is you pretty much boil it with a butter okay. uh, for about two and a half hours, three hours. And um, yeah, so then what we do today is we melt it down and then we strain it. Yeah. Okay, so tell me for someone who's a little bit of a newbie, what's the difference between THC and CBD? Well, CBD, THC and CBD come off of the same plot. So, um, yeah, CBD is pretty much the dopey feeling, to put it like in a layman's term. CBD is, gives you that dopey, euphoric feeling, and THC is the mind high. It's more of a, Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, okay, quick question. Top five things that you can use cannabis oil for besides eating? Well for me, I, I, I struggle a lot with insomnia so um, if you have a problem sleeping, yeah. it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, joint pain, Ooh, yeah. really good with your joint pain. Um, now if we're talking about THC, um, a very big misconception is that THC kills brain cells. Now what it actually does um, for people that have uh, major headaches, migraines and stuff, what it does is the THC goes and forms in between your, your brain receptors and it, it forms that gap again. Now, when you have a migraine, your, your receptors are misfiring and that's pretty much your, your, your headache. So the, CH, the, the THC goes and joins that and it takes your headache away. <laughs> so that's it, migraines. Right. Um, obviously the, 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 the very common, you just want to get high. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. I'll yeah, take yeah, that. yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, it's it's amazing for osteoporosis uh, and obviously the cancer patients. Um, it helps a lot with nausea. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like I said, I'm in Kimberley, like there was a huge sponsorship from this um, store. I can't mention it because this is not this is not a sponsored video. So yeah. relax. So what happened with uh, a lot of the guys? We have a lot of like uh, joint pain, especially in the knees and everything. So they made us these uh, what you call kind of like a lotion kind of thing that we rubbed on our joints and stuff, especially because we land hard, the impacts that we do is, is insane. So one of the guys as well, I'm not going to mention who, uh, rubs that like, he used it for about a month and now he's back on doing the most craziest tricks. Uh, check in the link below and you see the, the whole thing that's happening in Kimberley this uh, past weekend. And yeah, you can see like it improved our skating, it just made the overall morale just much better. And yeah, uh, plus I've seen like all these cool little things, what they did with them. Um, like uh, the shoes as well. Yeah, the, the hemp material. Yeah. It's really cool. 
That's how strong that is, man. Like this guy was riding with a, with a sneaker that kind of looks like a canvas, but not really a canvas. Hella expensive though, but it's like really dope. Uh, here's a dumb question. What what celebrities do you know that takes um, cannabis? Oh, Morgan celebrities. Freeman. Let's talk about the world's top minds. Morgan Freeman, <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson, Elon Musk. What's that dude from Fear Factor? That, the, the old guy from Fear oh. Factor. Uh, what's his name? Joe Rogan, love that guy. Um, who else is a very big stoner? Uh, Wes Khalifa. Wes Khalifa. Snoop Dogg. Yeah. <laughs> like Mark Tyson. He's opened a whole resort. Yeah, in no. fact. He's not just knocking out punches anymore, now he's knocking out brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Now, I guess we're just gonna chill and just see what else we'll we wait until. We'll be back. We'll be back. Uh, ready. Uh, we just hit the hour mark. Thank <laughs> you.